This is Dr. Shakil Ahmed. Today I want to have a short discussion about the two basic concepts of ultrasound called acoustic enhancement and acoustic shadowing. First we will discuss the acoustic enhancement. First of all I will discuss acoustic enhancement. When sound travels through a fluid felt structure little or no attenuation of the sound beam occurs causing the area posterior to a cystic lesion to appear brighter than surrounding structure. This is also named as through transmission. In this image, it is explained that this beam of the sound is traveling through a solid tissue whenever it reaches a cystic lesion or a cystic structure that there will be lesser attenuation or there will be no attenuation. So the area posterior to this cystic or fluid felt structure will be appeared brighter or it will be appear hyper echoic as compared to the other area and this is called acoustic enhancement. This is a cystic lesion which is located in between the solid tissue. So the beam is coming whenever it is passing through this fluid felt cyst there will be no attenuation and whenever it is hitting the posterior wall there will be enhancement and in this image we clearly appreciate the presence of the posterior enhancement. Another term which is called acoustic shadowing. This occurs distal to any highly reflective or highly attenuating surface. And it is important diagnostic clue seen in a large number of medical conditions such as renal and biliary stones, also in tissue calcifications. In this image, we can appreciate that within a cystic structure there are hyper -equic structures present in these are the stones present within the lumen of the gallbladder. As we can appreciate that these stones are causing posterior shadowing. This is the posterior shadowing of this stone. This is the posterior shadowing of this stone and the same is here. This is the urinary bladder, a cystic organ containing a hyper equic or highly reflecting structure in its lumen and it is also causing shadowing. So the image in this shadowing area will not be appreciated or the structure which are lying in this region will not be appreciated. In this slide some images are shown to appreciate the posterior enhancement and also the posterior shadowing. In this image, we can appreciate a solid hypoequic lesion in the breast tissue. And this shows posterior enhancement in this area. So it was labeled as fibroadenoma. This is the normal gallbladder distended with posterior enhancement. This is another cystic organ and that is the carotid which shows posterior enhancement. This one also shows posterior enhancement. In this image we can appreciate the renal cortical cyst and this cortical cyst is also 
causing posterior enhancement. Now I am coming toward the posterior shadowing. In this image, this is a stone lying within the lumen of the GB or gallbladder and this is causing posterior shadowing. Another stone causes posterior shadowing. This is the urinary bladder containing a large stone and this is also showing posterior shadowing. This is a good image and we can appreciate both the posterior shadowing and the posterior enhancement. This is basically the gallbladder containing stones in its dependent portion. A caustic shadowing occurs when the sound waves encounter a very coherent structure. Nearly all of the sound is reflected, resulting in a caustic shadowing. Thank you. I hope that you have enjoyed the presentation.